guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we're looking at Mini Pupper 2. Essentially a miniature quadruped robot that is designed to be an educational platform teaching you about robotics as well as expandability where you can go ahead and put a LiDAR as well as a variety of other different sensors onto it. Now this was sent over by Mang Dong, so big special thanks to the good folks who are at them for sending us over in which if you guys wanted your very own, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so check it out. This is the packaging, this is the box. Let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, so this is everything that we get and overall a really simple design concept. All right, so this is everything that we get. So one thing to note is we do get a nice looking controller here. So you can go ahead and control it using this. Uh, we have a power cable. This will be directly powering the robot itself, but it does have a battery pack here on the bottom. So you can technically charge it this way using a USB-C port. And just looking at the robot, man, this thing looks really cool. So it has a nice looking LCD screen here on the front, uh, which we'll be testing out just a little bit. And you have a variety of different ports here on the actual top portion of it as well. So it has this part here where you can attach a LiDAR on here. Uh, we have a micro SD card port, and then you have a, an HDMI, uh, USB-C port, and yeah, speaker on the back. And this thing actually is pretty interesting. So it does have a carbon fiber base from what I can see and then you have these carbon fiber legs and these look like almost like 3D printed parts as well. Now other than that to go ahead and turn it on so hold this power button over here just like this and I believe you just hold it for a few seconds. Oh there we are. <laughs> All right so our robot is now booted okay and then we'll turn on our controller. Okay looks like we have a little boot up screen going on over there. Check that out. Okay I think it just screamed. Uh, maybe that's just the Buddha sound. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. So it does have an IP address on the screen here. You can see it right there. Uh, and then let's see if we could turn on this remote. All right. Oh, we're connected. Oh, look. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> so it does have like a face. Look at that. That's so cool. And then if I go ahead and hit uh, L1, it'll go ahead and start moving. And you can see it turning yellow. And then if I go ahead and move the analog, you can see it kind of twist right there. That's so cool. I can move it forward, move it backwards. Um, and if I hit L1 again, I'll stop. Okay, so R1's gonna be like, I'll go ahead and twist the body. Man, that's actually got a lot of flex. Holy crap, that's so cool. So I can move it down, I can move it up. I can move it left, I can move it right. Man, that's actually really cool. And you can see like how it's flexing. That is actually really cool. And the way the body kind of like twists is really neat to see. And it's actually kind of interesting on how that's kind of set up. In terms of other movements goes, so R1 will go ahead and put it back into its running state. R1 will go ahead and switch it between the two different modes. R2 doesn't do much, L2 doesn't do much. Uh, ooh. Okay, so Circle is doing a little animation. Oh, okay, cool. It's like doing its own little like automated dance thing. It's like a demo mode, I guess. Okay, Axel will go ahead and change uh, the position of the robot. Go down low, make it go up high. And yeah, that's kind of neat. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, it's, 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 it does take some getting learning to use to, but I can ex, I can already see the potential in this robot. Now, the nice thing about this is obviously you can expand on it. So this has the LiDAR on there. Uh, you can technically do different things as well with the particular robot in terms of the, the, the Raspberry Pi, in terms of customizing it goes. So really, it's entirely up to you. Now, obviously, you kind of get a feel of the control of the robot. And yeah, I mean, it's actually a pretty easy to use robot. And yeah, really cool stuff. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions about Mini Pupper 2, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.